doesn't matter if you are a long-term user of the Fire Stick or even a new user. In this video, I'm going to give you some Amazon Fire Stick settings you need to turn off to make it not only run better, but to make it a lot more secure and stop Amazon spying on you in 2022. Hey guys, Lee here from iStream News. Hope you are well. This is the channel where you can get a load of streaming tips just like this. And of course, I will keep you updated with the latest streaming news. So if you are new around here, hit subscribe. Let's get the channel growing. And with all that out the way, let me show you some fire stick settings that you need to change right now. Right, so we're on the Amazon Fire Stick. We're going to head on over to the settings cog at the end. Now, these settings that we're going to go through, you want to turn off not only to make your device a lot more secure and run faster, but it also stops trackers and things that you do not need, like Amazon tracking all the ad data and in some cases your usage data. Let's stop all that. It's all about getting more privacy. And speaking of privacy, if you're using third party streaming apps and you want to hide your streaming activity in the video description down below you'll see a link to an exclusive express vpn offer which will give you three extra months for free and the good thing is that vpn works with pretty much all the streaming services that we use on the fire stick anyway that links down below right so let's just go through each section one at a time first if we head on over to applications at the end Let's start with Amazon Photos. If you haven't got your photo synced up to the device for like wallpapers and screensavers, then we're going to turn this off. Allow guest connections. Let's turn that off. That will make it a lot more secure and prevent any guest connections to the Amazon Fire Stick. Access to Amazon Photos. Again, if you're not using it, let's just disable it. So we have both of these now turned off and disabled. Now if we head on down to Game Circle, if you don't do any gaming on your Fire Stick, like me, I do not, it's simply for streaming, I'm going to turn it off because it simply isn't needed. Now if we go to the App Store, there's a few things here you can turn off if you want to. For instance, automatic updates. If you don't want your apps automatically updating, this would have been useful with the latest version of Kodi, then you can disable it here. External magnet links, we'll leave that to ask before opening in case you want to use it and uh, that way we'll know if something is being used. External market links, again, we're going to ask before opening and in-app purchases, we're going to leave on just in case there's anything you want to buy. Now for the app store, we're going to leave that as it is. Now we're going to go to preferences and in here is where the most important settings are that we're going to change on the Fire Stick. This is where most of the options are, where the Fire Stick collects data from you, and we're going to stop that from happening. And this will not affect the usage of your Amazon Fire Stick. It will just make it a lot more private and stop things being collected about you that you might not even know was happening. Right, let's go through it one by one. Parental controls, I've got that turned off because I don't want any restrictions. Next, let's go down to privacy settings. Now here you can see a standard, they will all be on. Device usage data. Use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvements. No, we do not want that happening. So we're going to click turn off. Collect app usage data. Allow App Store to collect information on the frequency and duration of the downloaded apps. So this is basically collecting what apps you're using and how long you're using them for. We definitely don't want that on. Internet-based ads. This will give you ads based on your interests. Allow apps on the device to use your advertising ID to show interest-based ads that display products and services that may be interested in. So not only do they collect your data and what you like, they then also share it to third parties for them apps to tailor the ads. Definitely going to turn that one off too. So that's all these turned off. Let's go back and head on down to data monitoring. Now this is the screen you're going to get all about data usage. But once we turn this off, then we won't see any additional options. So disable that and that will stop the data consumption on your Amazon Fire Stick being collected. And once that's done, let's go back once again. Let's go down to notification settings now. Now, if you want to hide all the pop-ups from notifications, you can turn that on. I'm going to leave it off because in case there's an important pop-up, 
There may be a pop-up or an update I'm waiting for, so I'm going to leave that off. But if you want to turn it on and turn on Do Not Disturb, you can change that to on. Or you can go down to App Notifications and turn them on for specific apps. For instance, if you keep getting a notification from Plex you don't want to see, then you can turn off notifications for that specific app. Nice feature, but I'm just going to leave it as it is because I'm happy with the notifications. Now let's go back and we're going to go down to Featured Content. Allow video to autoplay. <laughs> this is a preference. It's actually quite useful if you're scrolling through the likes of the home screen and you're trying to find something and then the trailer starts playing or the content starts playing as well. However, for you guys, some of you might not like that feature. So if you don't want the video to autoplay on the home screens and the menu, news then you can turn that off and the same for the audio completely down to your preference i personally like it so i'm going to leave it on but if you don't want it to play turn it off sync recent content i'm going to leave that off so if you've watched something on another fire stick and you want it to show that you've watched it on this fire stick then you can turn it on but i'm going to leave it off the location you cannot change and that's everything from this screen now we're going to go back once again to the main menu now we're going to go to my fire tv on this page we're going to go down to the developer options now a lot of the time these will both be turned on you don't need to turn this on anymore but you're used to however adb debugging you do not need that on Connections on the Wi-Fi network can connect to your device remotely using ADB. It's a very useful feature, but you do not need it on. However, you might need it on if you use some specific apps that use it. For instance, the Apps to Fire Stick app or whatever it's called, or Mouse Toggle for instance, you will need it on for that. But if you don't use any apps that use ADB, then simply turn it off. It just prevents any connections to the Fire Stick. And for the last section is accessibility. I've got all these turned off. Alexa caption, closed caption. I don't need them on, but again, that may be an accessibility feature you guys use. I personally don't, so all these are turned off. And that's it. That is the main settings you want to change on your Amazon Fire Stick in 2022 to stop Amazon. Amazon and other apps collecting your data and selling them on to make a bit of money for advertising networks. We don't need it, so it's definitely worth updating. Hopefully you found this video useful. Again, like I said at the start of the video, if you want to take your privacy to the next step, then the link to an exclusive VPN offer with ExpressVPN is in the video description. That will give you an additional three months for free, and they offer one of the fastest VPNs speeds on the market with their new lightweight protocol it's a great vpn and it works with all services anyway that's down below but more importantly if this has helped you hit that subscribe button that would help me a bunch share the video and let me know in the comments section if it did help at all anyway that's all for this one thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one